Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to set up a new Redbubble shop to sell t-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, and other print-on-demand products. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. Redbubble is probably the easiest place to build your first online e-commerce store. Not only can you design and sell your own print-on-demand products, but also build your own branded shop to display your designs. In this video, we will be going through the entire process of setting up a new Redbubble shop. This will include things like adding your avatar, creating an eye-catching cover image, adding your artist details, and much more. We will go over how to easily create an awesome banner for your Redbubble shop with the correct dimensions and format. I recently launched a free self-defense course for my martial arts brand and I want to build a new Redbubble shop to sell some cool martial arts merch to my students. So as an example, I'll be building a brand new Redbubble shop for my martial arts brand Moab Fight Training. So now let's head over to Redbubble and get started by signing up. If you're brand new to Redbubble, you'll have to create your account before you can create your shop. So let's go up to the top menu here and click on the sign up tab. This will take you to a page where you can select to join Redbubble as a customer or as an artist. Since we want to create a Redbubble shop to sell our designs on print on demand products, let's click on artist sign up. You can then start by adding the email address you want associated with this Redbubble account. Once you've added your email address, you can then come up with a name for your Redbubble shop. When creating your shop name, remember that you can only use letters, numbers, and dashes, no spaces, you have to have 4 to 15 characters, and the first letter can't be a dash. Once you've added your shop name, go ahead and come up with a password. And that's it! That's all the information you have to provide for now to become a Redbubble artist. To finish creating your account, go ahead and click on the sign up button. But since I already have an account, I'm gonna go up here and click on log in. So once you've signed up and logged in, you should be taken to the Redbubble homepage. Now that you have your Redbubble account, we can start building your shop. So let's look up at the top menu and click on your account icon. This should open up a drop down menu with various options for you to manage your account. To build our shop, let's start by clicking on account settings. Here's where you can start setting up your Redbubble shop and your artist profile. So let's go through all the sections here to build my new shop. The first thing I'm going to do is upload my shop avatar. This is going to be your shop profile image. It can be a picture of you, your brand logo, or anything else you wish. To add your avatar, go ahead and click on the Choose File button here. You can then find your image, then open it up. Once you've added your image file, go ahead and click the Upload button here. Your image should then start uploading, and your new avatar should then appear on your shop. For my avatar, I just used my Moab Fight Training logo. You'll notice that my account icon at the top right here has changed as well. So let's head back over to the account settings tab and finish setting up our shop. Now that we've added our avatar, let's scroll down and go to the cover image section. Your cover image will be the banner that's displayed at the top of your shop. When creating your cover image, you have to make sure it's 2400 by 600 pixels and in JPG or PNG format. One of my favorite places to create cover images, logos, custom graphics, and even t-shirt designs is Canva. And if you sign up for Canva Pro, you'll have access to thousands of images and graphics that you can use for your designs, and tons of Canva Pro features like the background remover tool. So let's go over how to create a cover image for our Redbubble shop using Canva. From the Canva homepage, let's look up at the top right hand corner and click on the Create a Design button. This should open up a drop down menu displaying various options for you to create a new design. To create a cover image for our Redbubble shop, let's go down to the bottom here and click on Custom Size. You will then be able to put in a custom width and height to create your Canva project. If you remember, the size for our Redbubble cover image is going to be 2400 pixels by 600 pixels. Also, make sure you have pixels selected in the drop down menu to the right here. Once you've entered your project dimensions, go ahead and click the Create New Design button. This will open up a brand new Canva project with the exact dimensions for your Redbubble cover image. 
If you're a new designer or just looking for a fast way to create your banner, Canva has tons of different templates that you can browse through and use to create your cover image. They have some free templates available, but to access the entire Canva library, you're going to need a Canva Pro account. Once you find a template you like, simply click it to add it to your project. You can then edit the text, the graphics, the images, or any other elements you like. But in order to better show you the Canva tools and features, I'll be creating my cover image from scratch. I already have some images and graphics that I want to use for my cover image, so let's go ahead and upload them to Canva. To do this, let's go over to the Uploads tab. I can then click on Upload Media, select Device since I'll be uploading from my computer, then find and open all the images and graphics that I want to add to my project. All the images and graphics that you selected should then be uploaded and added to the Uploads tab. Once everything is finished uploading, you can simply drag or click it to add it to the template. I think I'll use this image here for my background. Once you add an element to your template, you can select the element and use the Canva tools up top here to edit the element any way you wish. So let's crop, resize, and readjust my image to better fit my background. There we go. If I click on the Adjust tab, I can also make other adjustments to things like the brightness, contrast, or saturation. So now that I have my background, let's add in my logo as well. From the Uploads tab, I'm going to find my logo that I uploaded earlier and click it to add it to my template. I can then adjust, resize, and rearrange my logo to the center of my cover image. This looks good, but I think I can make my logo stand out a bit more. To do this, I think I'll add a shadow. There is no magic shadow button for your uploads, but let's go over how I like to add shadows to my images. First, we're going to copy the element we want to add a shadow to, then paste it to the template. With the new element selected, go up to the Adjust tab, then turn the brightness all the way down, the contrast all the way up, the saturation all the way down, and add a little blur. I can then go up to the Position tab at the top menu and move the copy behind the original element. And voila, my logo now has a shadow. I think this looks much better. Now I think I'll add some text to my cover image. If you click the Text tab on the left hand side here, you'll be able to add a heading, a subheading, or browse through tons of different text templates that you can add to your project. They have some free templates available, but to access all the templates, you'll need a Canva Pro account. But for my cover image, let's just add a heading. Once the heading's been added to my template, I can then change the text, rearrange and resize my text, and edit the heading using the toolbar up top. So just like we did with my logo, I think we can make my heading stand out a bit more as well. But instead of a shadow this time, I think I'll add a colored text box. So let's look at the menu on the left hand side and click on the Elements tab. Here's where you can search through tons of different photos, graphics, videos, and audios that are available on Canva. Simply type in what you're looking for and you'll see all the elements that match that keyword appear in the results. They have a lot of free elements, but to access all the elements in the Canva library, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account. So I'm gonna add this bordered square shape here, change the colors, resize it, and move it to the back of my text. There we go. I definitely think that makes my text a bit more readable and stand out a bit more. Feel free to add any other elements, logos, or text that you want to add to your cover image. But I'm going to keep things simple and just go with this for my Redbubble shop. So once you're finished, go ahead and go up to the top right and click on the download button. Make sure you have PNG selected under file type, then click on download. Your new cover image will then be downloaded to your computer. Now that we have our new cover image, let's head back over to Redbubble and add it to our shop. In the cover image section, go ahead and click on choose file. You can then find and open up the cover image that you just created. Once you open the file, go ahead and click the upload button. And voila, you've just added a cover image to your Redbubble shop. Now that we've added our cover image, let's scroll down and fill out our profile. Here's where you can fill out your first and last name, select your display name, fill out your email address, your user settings, and add your bio. The profile for my shop already has my business partner's first and last name since we already filled out our payment information. We'll go over how you can set up your payments here shortly. 
For your display name, you can select to show your real name or your username. I'm going to display my shop name, Moab Merch. Under email address, you'll see the email you signed up with. And under your user settings, you can select to show your age on your profile, show your city and country on your profile, and receive bubble mail. And the last thing you're going to fill out in your profile is your artist bio. Here's where you can describe yourself, your brand, or your products in 500 characters or less. Feel free to describe your niche, your design style, or anything else you want to describe. This is a great place to introduce yourself and your brand to your customers. Once you finish filling out your profile, you can then scroll down to the notifications section. Here's where you can update your email subscription notifications to be updated about the activity in your Redbubble shop. Feel free to enable or disable any of these you wish. You can then go down to the copyright section where you can fill in your copyright name and your copyright URL. For my copyright name, I'm just going to use my Redbubble shop name. And for my copyright URL, I'm going to use my Redbubble shop URL. Your copyright information will actually be embedded in any large images that are downloaded on the site. Once you fill out your copyright information, you can then scroll down to your off-site marketing. There's not really much to do here except to make sure you have your products enabled to be displayed in the off-site marketing advertisements on Facebook, Google, and other places online. And under image settings, you can select to hide the Pinterest button or whether or not to show mature content. Once you finish selecting all your options, go ahead and go down and click on the Save Changes button. Your profile should be successfully saved and your shop should now be updated. But before we head over to my shop, let's update a few more settings first. We've already created our profile, so now let's add our payment details. If you look at the menu on the left hand side and go down to the account settings section, you should see a tab that says edit payment details. Go ahead and click that now. Here's where you can enter your personal details like your name and address and also select how you want to get paid. You have the option to select to get paid through PayPal or get a direct deposit to your bank account. Go ahead and fill out all your personal information, select how you want to get paid, agree to the user agreement, then click on save changes. Redbubble can now send you your payments each time you make a sale. Another thing we need to add to our Redbubble shop is links to our social media pages and our website. If you look at the menu on the left hand side at the bottom of the artist tools section, you should see a tab that says link to other sites. Here's where you can add your website, social media links, and all other URLs you want to add to your Redbubble shop. You can add your Facebook account, your Twitter, Instagram, your Pinterest, and tons of other social media links. Simply copy and paste or type in the URL for your brand page or website. As an example, let's add my website, which is moabfighttraining.com. Once you're finished, go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and click on save. And there we have it. My shop should now have everything it needs to get started. So let's head over to my shop and check it out. To view your shop, Go to your account menu at the top right, then click on your shop. So here's my new Redbubble shop that we just created. You can see my cover image here that we created on Canva and my avatar. I've actually already added a couple of products as well so you can see what it looks like. If you look underneath your store name, you should see a link that says view artist profile. Let's click that now. This will actually take you to the bottom of your shop where you can view your artist profile. Customers can view the bio that you wrote and also click the links to go to your website and social media pages. This is a great way to build your following and offer more products and content to your customers. So that's a quick overview of how to build a new Redbubble shop for your brand. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.